Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Unit 5, Glaze, Scumble, Velatura. We're just going to do a Glaze and a Velatura on this demonstration, and the Scumble will come on the next. So, you've got uh, the painting up here on the right, and my palette on the left. I'm starting with a Glaze. So, bottles and any kind of reflective things, um, shadows. Those are great for glazes. So what I mixed up was a lot of medium with a little bit of um, brown paint into it, burnt umber. And see how that kind of refreshes the paint because I'm adding oil through my medium. And it also keeps it fairly dark. And the idea is we're making something where as we add this in, you are getting kind of like another layer, another pass of thin brown paint on top. So it's going to make this bottle look more glassy. It's going to work a little bit better. So like I will discuss in my other video, um, I am going to add in a color to this fish. You have seen it. You've painted it. It's a white salt shaker, um, but I am going to, for the purposes of this project, pretend like it was red, reddish pinkish. Um, so because of that, you can see me taking this um, glaze or velatura because it's a little, it's got a little bit of white in it. It's not a pure red, and I'm taking it and thinning it out as I kind of push it around. It's very, very um, thin, and we're trying to just give the whole thing a coat of a different color. So first we'll go through and cover that up. And then after that point, we'll go through and start to pull some of that paint away. So I'm grabbing a dry brush and trying to pull some of the excess paint with this brush Away. So this brush has no paint on it. I'm just trying to pull some of that off. Mostly it's because, bad teacher, I didn't have my paint rag with me. So here I'm also using my hands um, to pull a little extra paint off. All right, so that's done. I'm going to go back and make a darker version of this um, and add it to some of the shadows. Um, the color that I'm using is Matter Crimson Lake. It's like an alizarin crimson. It's maybe just a little more brownish and maybe not quite as dark. This is an old Holland paint brand. Um, and I end up using the alizarin crimson as well in a minute. So I kind of feel like that needed to dry for a bit. So I'm going to move over to the other side. And here we are going through and mixing up some of the blue, trying to get that all together there. And um, I am going to do a velatura of blue on top of this number three, even though it is turned to give us the letter E right now. Um, so this is like thinned out paint. You can see me kind of scratching it or um, dragging it across the surface. I'm just trying to get this wet, get some oil on there, get a little bit of color. It might leave it a little thicker on top because that's my light side. And I'm kind of just giving everything like an average blue first. Um, and that's scrubbing, sorry. That's what that technique is called. The problem with scrubbing is that it will often eat up your brushes a little too quickly. So I try not to do too much of that where I paint on a surface that doesn't have so much tooth like a um, canvas does. Canvas can be very harsh on your brushes if you don't sand it down first. So now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a darker blue and I'm working that into 
the light blue that I already put down. So this is kind of what a Velatura passage is, is you're almost just painting into an area by starting it off, adding some color to it, and then adjusting it to how you want it to look. So essentially what I'm doing is repainting this whole area and I already had my values and some of my colors set up. Not colors, just my values, because it was just brown and white. So here's a little darker, and I decided, oh, I'm gonna find some places where I can add just a little darker version of this. And so I'm gonna put that up near the edges, top edges, and then just kind of blend it in. Um, it may not have been that exactly, but visually I think it works pretty well. So we get these lights on the inside edges. It's a couple of those. And then I'm gonna start finishing up that. And let's do the darker part of this. So I'm grabbing a darker blue and a little touch of burnt umber to kind of keep it in that same zone. So this was the darkest side because my light is over on the top left. These edges here on the bottom right are going to be facing away from the light and it's definitely where I'm gonna have my shadow edges. Um, this is a very solid object, so I'm not painting it quite as thick or as dark, but um, definitely is a darker area address the, um, the shadows on the letter E. I'm going to kind of work some darker values into that. And really what I'm doing now is I've kind of painted everything. Now I'm kind of cleaning up my edges. I'm thinking about is this a hard edge? Is this a soft edge? Am I trying to show some change in value? Am I trying to blend the soft value as it turns over that edge? And I'm trying to just kind of consider some of my details. A little darker there, a little darker there. Maybe find a transition value in between the dark shadow and the lighter white, blue. I am gonna try to do some different things here, but just go back into the fish and do the number seven. It is a bright red. I might have to go over this one more time to make it a little bit brighter and a little bit lighter, more like a fire engine red rather than a crimson dark red. But that will work for this. On the fish, give us some shadows. And I think that's about it for this video. Um, maybe a couple little details, find a couple little edges where I can kind of redraw Part of that in and there's your glaze and your velatura join me in the next video for a quick scumble on our wipeout video